Um, hello, Mr. Tiny Sea Lion. All right, I'm just gonna leave you be. You do your thing. If you're just gonna chill next to me, I'm gonna call you Fred. What's up, Anglers and Anglets? It's your boy Sven, and welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be a little fun. Just a quick update for everyone. Reached 200 subscribers a couple days ago and the number has been climbing since. So we're off to a really good start. I know we got a long ways to go, but you know, baby steps. Let's shoot for 500 next and see what happens. So to celebrate, I'm not gonna keep a single thing. I just kind of want to see what's around because spring is warming up the weather and the water. We should be able to see an increase in the fish activity. That's the idea at least. It's such a beautiful day, but I also feel like I say that every single time I go fishing. I'm just gonna take a little time to relax, catch my breath, and then we'll get started. So, see you guys then. Bonjour, no. All right, before we get started, you guys know the drill. Let me talk to you guys about the importance of safety. When you're fishing on the jetty, you just wanna be a little extra careful. The waves look fairly calm right now, so there isn't too much to worry about. But like I said, you never know what's gonna happen. You could just be chilly and a huge rogue wave could come and maybe even knock you down. So just be kind of careful about that. If you do need to hop around the rocks, make sure you have the appropriate footwear. I got some nice hiking boots. They got good traction. Most of these rocks, if they look like they're wet, it means it's been splashed recently. So do a very simple boot scrape. It'll help you get an idea of how slippery it is. Now that safety's out of the way, here comes actual fishing tips. Fish like to hide around the rocks. Rocks have structure. Kelp is also structure. And they like to just chill there in case a predator comes by or something spooks them and they can just go right into the rocks and hide. All right, so let's get to it. Drop it right down here in this little deep hole. It's gonna be right next to some kelp. It's gonna be next to some rocks. I'm using a high-low rig. Size eight will be good for surf perch in general. It'll also help you catch any other fish that might be a little larger. It's gonna be all catch and release today. I'm casting fairly close, so it's kind of like a drop in, drop out. If I don't get any bites, I'll move around. So stay tuned, I'll see you guys at the first catch. Lots of tiny nibbles. Heck yeah, fish on. Nice, all right. First catch of the day looks like a dinky half moon. It's only a dinky boy, but today's all catch and release. So let's get this guy back as soon as we can. This release is gonna be a little high, but the waves are really rough down there. So thanks for playing dinky half moon. Boop. Remember, your safety is the most important. If you can't release a fish safely by going down closer to the rocks, do whatever you can to get it back if you're not looking to keep them. You know, it took a while to get our first fish, but we got it, so let's keep the train going. I caught that guy fairly close. Yeah, about 10 feet. When there's usually one, there's probably more, so just keep casting in the same spot you caught that boy, and look, we're getting nibbles already. Um, hello, Mr. Tiny Sea Lion. All right, I'm just gonna leave you be. You do your thing. If you're just gonna chill next to me, I'm gonna call you Fred. Bite, bite. Come on, those are some good nibbles. Come on, fishy. Enjoying yourself? Yeah, me too, man. Come on, fishy. Taking a little drink break. I've been fishing for a while, so it's always good to remind myself to stay hydrated. When you're fishing out here, especially as the weather is warming up, always make sure you bring some water with you or something to drink. And when you're done, make sure you pick up all your trash. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my little bag and take care of that later. Fish on? Yeah, fish on. Let's see what you are. Looks like a kelp fish. Uh, sir, are you okay? You're not really moving. All right, well, that's second fish right there. Now, this is a pretty cool fish. I think this is a baby kelp fish. It might be a baby giant kelp fish. Not sure. He is definitely small. I know that much. So let's uh, get him on back. Look, Fred, I caught a kelp fish. Thanks for playing, kelp fish. Boop. Nice, that's the second fish. Bites kind of slow today, not too bad. There are definitely a lot of nibbles. 
just not any takers. I'm getting some really good nibbles right now. Could be a nice fish. What do you think I'll catch next, Fred? There we go. Feels like a dinky boy. Let's see what you are. Nice, another dinky half moon. All right, that's the third fish. See that, Fred? That's a half moon. I think he's a cool fish. All right, thanks for playing, Mr. Half Moon. Boop. All right, Fred, the bite slowed down, so I'm gonna go out a little bit farther. You just stay here and chill, all right? I'll take that as a yes. Later, buddy. I'll see you next time. I guess here's another quick second for safety. Don't mess with the wild animals. Fred was over there just chilling, so it was fine. Actually, he's right there right now. Look at him go. Go, wiggly boy, go. You gotta treat them with respect. Yeah, he looks like he's cute and cuddly. I mean, look at him. He's just wiggling around looking to get in the water. Like it's adorable, but if I pissed him off, there's nothing stopping him from chomping down on my arm and that's no fun. So you just gotta be super careful when you're interacting with wild animals. And there he goes. Actually, what am I saying? In general, just don't mess with wild animals because you never know what's going to happen. You can look, but no touchy touchy. All right, guys, I'm probably going to have to call it soon. The sun's down. Without the sun, it's actually like surprisingly cold. So for today, we didn't really catch much. We caught two half moons and one kelp fish. But, you know, it was just nice to get out here and celebrate the 200 subscribers. I know 200 subscribers doesn't sound like too much, but it means the world to me. So I wanna just take the time to say thank you for all you guys who have supported me since I've started, especially my wife, Amber. I mean, this channel is only possible due to her encouragement. Well, it either got something or I'm on a really big piece of kelp. It doesn't look like it's fighting. It's a double whammy with sculpin. What, what? I got a double whammy with sculpin to end the day. Nice, okay, so change that. The total is now five. All right, let's get these guys off. You gotta be really careful with sculpins. They are one of the most venomous fish that we have down here in SoCal. So basically with sculpins, you gotta be careful of the dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins. That's where they have their little spiky boys. So let's get this guy back. Thanks for playing, Mr. Sculpin. Boop. Okay, that's one. So this guy's a little gut shotted. If you ever get a fish that's gut shotted, do not try to dig the hook out. You'll do a lot more harm than good. What you want to do is snip the line as close as you can to the hook and then let them go. The hook will eventually rust out. It's a lot better than ripping vital organs that they have. When you're holding sculpins, you can lift them just fine. Just be careful when they thrash. Sorry you have a hook in you, Mr. Sculpin. Thanks for playing. Boop. Ooh, wait, that's really pretty. Wait, that's so pretty. Come on, Sven, focus. All right, we're gonna have to walk and talk because I still need to be able to see to navigate my way back. I'm pretty good at navigating the rocks without light, but it's better to be safe than sorry, you know? The more I can see, the less I can possibly injure myself. I really don't remember what I was saying before I caught the double sculpin. Oh yeah, it's getting really dark now. There's still definitely enough light for me to see to navigate the jetty, but my GoPro won't pick it up. I wonder what it looks like right now. I'm just gonna slowly wallow my way back to the car. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Later.